presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 236, NASDAQ up 26, S&P's up 15 and a half, gold contract up $5.90, trading at 1936 an ounce. We have silver down 3 cents, 23 dollars 31 cents an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck 87. $74.87 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, up two ticks, trading 111.07. The 30-year up six at 124.08 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 237 ticks, trading 101.735. The euro is at 109. The yen is at 140. And the British pound is at 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. So let's look at the future first, okay? So you get a market that wants higher price. As you're climbing here, you know, you're losing the juice behind it, meaning the volume behind it. What we just did here, and we, we made this high this morning, um, you know, at uh, 12, 1210. Uh, bottom line, you know, you can see that what ended up happening, we ended up taking out the high from 1140. Now that had 70,000 shares traded, right? Uh, contracts traded, right? But now watch this, because this is like hit, hit pretty intense. You went, you did 33,000, and then we did 10, and we did 30,000. Well, your benchmark is that 70, and then ba boom. You went from the high of 44.65 and a heartbeat down to 40, 5452. That's what happens, folks, when you get over and there's that type of discre dis discrepancy on a percentage basis. Okay, so now, bottom line, what are we doing? Well, the bottom line is that it, it last borrowed here, we did 26,000, and you know, we're dealing with 30, so you're not dealing with much. I suspect that, you know, we don't have. Yeah, we don't, we don't have a high volume low. See, because that high volume low from the small, see the high volume low from the small at 54,000? Well, just use your crosshairs. That was actually going into 92,000. That's how that works. If you're looking, you know, using time in the trade. That's you know, that's bottom line is that, hey, who's ever buying over there, guess what? They decided they're going to be at it again. We go into the NQs. Uh, the NQs definitely led down the first you know, pull back this morning at, well, at noon. And what the NQs do have, this is what the difference is. Remember this happened a couple of weeks ago too. Well, I, yeah, a couple of weeks ago. The NQs do have some volume down here, you know, not, not the highest volume because the highest volume is that, and this is kind of cool to look at. See, the highest volume is at the, the 15,146. That there, we did... 32,000, and then we got down again to 15,152 with 70, with 7,000. You see how that works? 7,000 versus 32,000. Is that only 7,000? 
Yeah, 7,000. We're going higher, man. Oh, that ain't even close. You see, hey, we're going to go over this again, man. That 7,000, and you were, you're talking 32,000. This market wants higher price. That, that Even that NASDAQ. And they, they, we're going to higher price, man. That That's pretty intense. Gold. Gold contract right now is building costs for a higher price. Um, you know, still to get a sideways move out here. The... We have a uh, seven hundred and no, seventy-one thousand contracts out here today. Not not bad contract volume. We made it up to nineteen forty-four. You're at nineteen thirty-seven right now. You're gonna need more volume, and you're gonna crack this this whole deal because the resistance is still gonna come in on a monster basis at ten forty, and that's what that keeps happening. You see that that's ice. That's that's what that is. We put it this way. That's ice. You know, so we jumped the creek. You had volume when you jumped the creek. You know, it's going to try to get by that part. You know, bottom line, I expect it's going to get by that part. Why? Because if we get over to this dollar, this dollar wants to get down into par. And we'll see how this shakes out. Couldn't hold price today. You know, almost, almost, you know, made a nice hammer today, okay? That was early this morning. Couldn't handle it. So your next leg here is somewhere about 100.756. Now, Let's bring this back a little bit because if we actually get action going, I want to show you something. Because this is this is where if the dollar actually can't hold this level, then you are going to see gold go to the moon as well as the market. <laughs> because this level here, you know, we we get under the 100 point, let's say seven to 800. You're in a whole other range. The, the next level down there is 89,200. You know, and that's that's how markets move, man. That's the bottom line. Uh, we had a question about the uh, XLE and ABC up. It's not an ABC up. The reason it's not an A. This is what you have to get your head wrapped around here, because of July 3rd. So the XLE, you know, it, it's, it's going higher. So it wants it wants higher price. But I'm just saying it's not an ABC up. The reason being, see how it's taking out that B point? That B point was July 3rd. So when you do the count volume calculation, you actually need 18.1 million shares. You know, A to B equals C to D. Now, that being said, you know, you, you're taking out the top of the consolidation, which is 82.51. You're at 83. So, you know, bottom line is that, yeah, you can get up to this 87 anyway, either way. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, you have, uh, let's see what we got. No, let's go inside the NDX 100. So inside the NDX 100, you got Activision. Yeah, the Microsoft's going to take over Activision. That's up 10%. You got, um, what is that? That's the electronics arts up 5%. Airbnb's up 4%. Datadog's up 3.5%. Taken away from it, AMAT's down 3 AMD's off two, Zscale is off 2.3, and you got Clack off 2.4. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We are going to be growling and prowling with Basil Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 225, Nasdaq's up 28, S&P's up 15. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 228. You get the Nasdaq up 31. S&P is up 17. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has a great newsletter. Matt, uh, op the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You've got to see it right into featured content on the left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 and 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So the bottom line is that if it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you for some reason, guess what? You can get your money back. And, of course, don't forget Basil's on every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Uh, very good. Thank you. Interesting market, this, I must say. Whoa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, like... it's, also, it's also interesting the way it's just rotating through different areas. Uh, as you think something's weakening, it suddenly strengthens. And as something's strengthening, suddenly see weakness. Cues are a little weaker today, say, than the Dow. Just interesting that Russell 2000, suddenly coming alive it's really a fabulous market this i must say yeah it's been a one-way market man there's no doubt about that that's 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 a fact so we'll see where the rest of this summer goes but uh thus that's far fine. that's what we have that's right so, i mean even even the patterns the way they're repeating you know i always talk about the a pattern that i call a straight line up or down or an arch or a cup formation and the market doesn't matter whether it's a one minute chart or a weekly or a daily, a monthly chart, the patterns just repeat because they're fractals of human nature. Yes. So here's this pattern that I talk about, the H pattern. And I have it in red because if it comes down sharply and then tries to rally, fails at a peak A or a B, and then takes out this left side low, it can go a lot lower. Well, look what happened to the Dow, 34,588 on the 16th of June, comes down for 1,000 points, goes to 33,610 rallies and goes to A, I call it a gray A because all the technicals were weak. But I kept mentioning, I, and I've done this for a couple of weeks now, I've said I use the nine period moving average over the 14 or under the 14 as a very strong tool. Yes. And as long as that, in this case, as long as the green nine period moving average is hovering over the black 14 period moving average, you've got to consider that there's still internal strength. Well, look at this. We went to that arch formation. 
We failed just under the 34,588, so here's your H pattern. And what happens, it comes down sharply, it even at an island reversal, which still hasn't been filled, and it goes all the way down above the 33,610. Yesterday, the low was uh, 33,000, 30, uh, what was it, 7, 795, 705. And look at this. It comes back again, and that 9-period moving average is getting closer and closer to that black 14-period moving average. It hasn't turned pink. It's still green. And look at that nice candle we've got. So the pattern I always like to talk about is, if I can just find it right here, is that there are times when the lowercase h, if it successfully holds the left side low, can stay within a rectangle formation going sideways and then form a lowercase h. M. So it looks like two little arches. Yes. And that's what I think is happening here. So I think we're in a containment area as far as the Dow is concerned. If you look at the weekly chart, it's just walking the 9 and 14 period moving average. It's holding very nicely. So that's very interesting. So we, we still kept our core position. We had trading positions, uh, which we took off uh, recently for very nice gains. Haven't got in because I think we're sort of stuck in this range. But now look at this. The S&P. Uh, let me just get that right. Let yeah, you know, just... it was interesting, Basil. I was listening to your show this morning, and you were actually a little surprised, I think, that so many cup and handles that you're already gone through are going higher, right? <laughs> so, yeah, th and that's the fascinating thing about a pattern that yeah. you, you are just, you are not the pattern, you are following the pattern. Right. And you've got to keep that in mind that sometimes you have something locked in your mind and something either exaggerates a little bit. But you've got to be prepared for it. So that's one of the things that I'm looking at. One of the reasons why, in fact, we were short the semiconductor index, did very nicely on a very short-term basis. We stopped, we were stopped out today. And then the SMHs, semiconductors were kind of weak. So I'm watching, in fact, I'll do this right now. Look, first the, the S&P and this daily chart on the left, look how high the nine period is over the 14. That's giving you internal strength, even though the MACD is weak. I know a lot of people use the MACD. But you've got to use it in conjunction with other things because this is the last. Uh, we used to think of the Fed as the last. What's it? The last bank of resort. So this is the same thing. This is the the last resort. <coughs> is the nine over the fourteen because the MACD is weak. The stochastic is sixty four percent. That's weak. On balance volume is weak. Relative strength is not too bad. But look at the SMHs. Go closer and closer to turning down. And they just refused. And today, right. even today, look, it's a red candle down 41 cents, but it's holding very nicely. So that's why I have a lot of respect for the rectangle formation. Goes towards the upper part, goes towards the lower part. How it breaks either of those is very important. So that's that's my view at this particular point. With I'll just give a parameters right now for the Dow. If the Dow start, it can't just go there once. It needs to. If the Dow actually starts to trade above 34,700. That is clearly a breakout. Let's call it 34,800 just to have a little room. 34,800 on a weekly basis. We've left this this lower period, this whole area, we've just left it behind and now we've got that as support for higher moves up. But we could stay here for a little while and if the Dow starts to trade under 33,400, and I'm using the Dow because just it's my benchmark at the moment. I do the same sort of work with the others. But what's interesting is the AI area. I mean, we are still long bots. The BOTZ is the symbol for the uh, Global X Robotics and AI ETF. So I talked about this H pattern. Well, it went underneath the left side. We're, we're along from, from quite, quite a bit lower down. And what's interesting about this is that it's made this H pattern and it's trying to form a second arch formation. The MACD is still weak, but the and the nine period actually went negative. And that's what I'm saying that you've got to put things together to put to to get a, a picture that says I, I've got all my technical indicators, but price is the arbiter of a trend. And in this particular case, it's trying to get if it can close the bots, the BOTZ trading at 2881, can close um, above the 2895 high of the 3rd of July on a weekly basis, then you can start to form the cup. And these patterns repeat all the time. So we've got, um, there's one that I've spoken to you about for oh, about four, five, six weeks now. We went along in the 21s 
of Symbiotic Inc. end-to-end -end, uh, AI, robotic warehouse automation systems. And my target, I didn't expect at all that it would go to the target uh, that was made at, uh, at 28.48 in June of 2022. But it really, it quickly took that out and continued all the way to 53.83. We've taken quite a bit off. We keep trying to get back in, but this is a tough one. Look, it just keeps rallying to the upside. Yeah, there's a 46.63. Now it's forming the cup formation, so that's good. And another one we got into just recently, um, this is in, in, in Obix Corporation. We got in in the 16s and today is at 20. Nice. So certain areas are working. All right, listen, folks, it's very easy to get Battles of News out of Komodo, our website at TFN. You're going to see it right at the featured content. You hit that button, you are off to the races. Baz, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading um, up 246. You got the NASDAQ up 39. S&Ps are up 18. Uh, you know, I heard Tommy talking about this uh, when he was kicking off TFNN this morning. And with this, what we're going to talk about for a few minutes here is the rebalancing inside the NDX 100. Now, this is the first time that it's a special rebalancing. And so what you have here is this, okay? And this is where it's going to get, there's money to be made here, okay? So... What you have is this, okay? The, the reason it's done 
is that there's so many funds, folks, okay, that they can only own so much of an equity period, okay? That's how this works, okay? So the NASDAQ and inside of that, the SEC is the one that's going to be all, all over these funds, okay, making sure that they don't own something that they don't supposed to own from their funds' perspectives, okay? So the thing that's so intriguing here is this, is that the rules, the actual rules, okay, you're going to see a lot of movement out here, man. So let's picture what a rebalance is first. This is what's really important to understand. You know, time in the trade is all about supply and demand, okay? So the supply of the fabulous seven or whatever, you, you know, you, you want to call the, the biggest seven stocks, okay, are going to get sold, period. Now, that's a bummer for the seven stocks, okay? And they have to get sold. That's the thing that's amazing here, okay? So, you know, like when, when equities get into the S&P or get into the NASDAQ 100, the reason that they can go up is that there's so many funds that mimic those and they have the, the fund folks have to buy them, period. That's, that's the bottom line. Well, in this particular case, they're going to have to sell them, period. Now, this is where it gets pretty cool, okay? The question is going to be where does the Qs and where do the followers of the Qs, the other funds of the Qs, as they sell them, and they're all going to be following the cues, because that's how this thing works, okay? They're going to be putting money into other equities. And, you know, you know the, everyone's speculating. Like, if you look at Starbucks, what you're going to see out here is that yesterday, bottom line, what this pop is, this pop right here, and Starbucks is all about that rebalance, okay? And so let's bring this back for a second. Yeah, it doesn't have a high volume high either. Okay, so that's, let's see. So you get Starbucks, you have, let me pull a few more here because there's, there's a few that the speculation is already that the fund managers are actually going to have to be buying some of these. And this is where this gets really wild. Okay, so one second, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. Montelis, yeah. Bookings. <laughs> this one's going to get interesting. Booking holdings. Because this is an expensive. They, they're going to be buying this, too. So let's see this. Uh, that's interesting, man. So that got a big pop yesterday. But let me bring this back a little bit further. Hmm. See, now, this is already at all-time highs. But the speculation is they're going to have to... Be buying Book and Holdings as well as uh, Montelis International. M O N T E. There we go, right here. Okay, now this is lower. Well, this is actually an ABC down. Hmm, maybe, maybe. Well, it's close. Yeah, no, this is an ABC. That's generally. Yes, and ABC down. So, bottom line, now, what's really intriguing, now listen to this. This is going to get done on the 20th, I just had it, 20th. Where are you? Yeah, so the, the big equities, on average, have gained 62% year to date. That's three times the average of the stock inside the NDX 100. This is going to happen July. There it is. Okay, July 24th. Now, the thing that's interesting, I believe, and we had our man, Mr. Tim Ward, on, right? It's somewhere around that area that the market itself, cycle-wise, just turns bearish anyway. So this is going to be a, oh, it's going to be a trip, man. But it, the reason, I just want you to wrap your head around the aspect of what has to get sold, what has to get bought. And the NASDAQ, the NASD, who basically runs, no, they don't run the, the NDX 100, but they're going to tell the NDX 100 exactly what has to happen here. And 
those rules are going to be basically placed. So the day that, that those rules get placed, I can imagine, you know, traders are going to be looking at that NASDAQ site every single day, every single minute, because the bottom line is that we know futures get traded 24 hours a day. Bottom line, once those things go up, you're going to know ASAP how much has to get sold and how much has to get bought and what stocks have to get bought. So this is going to be really unusual in the context of, you know, where this is going to go. So, you know, <laughs> it's going to be something else, man. You know, because the, the bottom line, let's go to take a look at Apple for a second. So you got... Apple's going to be the biggest monster for sure because it's the biggest waiting. And we'll see how much they have to sell. And the real question is, is that, you know, are there other people that, you know, bottom line, that want to buy Apple, um, you know, right off the bat? What we have seen is that a regular rebalance, so this is a different type of rebalance. That we have had a regular rebalance in, inside the NDX 100. And that's also when Apple got outsized weighting structure inside the NDX 100. And guess what? It didn't make a difference. What happened is this. It made a difference for a couple weeks, and people just kept buying it anyway, and then up the, the weighting structure of, the India, of, the, of Apple inside the NDX once again. So it's the, the whole thing's going to be pretty wild. There's no doubt. It, it's going to bring volatility into the close, into the market in general, and you're going to have a lot of speculation in between now and when this happens. Let's get over and take a look at the uh, gold market. We'll take a look at the GDX out here. You know, this is the, the GD, they're, they're all trying to get off the lows, but they're having a hard time. You know, GDX yesterday had a, had a good day, okay? Got some juice in it, but you can see it's failing today. You know, well, you're up 11 cents, but you get 10 million shares. Yesterday we did 24. Now see, that market in general, meaning the market, the broad market, the, the metals market, uh, this type of contraction of volume is saying that we are getting very close to highs. That's my take on it. But my, my take also is that we're actually going to get the high. That's what's going to blow everyone's mind, you know? And little by little, you touch that high, maybe they'll have a spike high. And what a spike high is specifically is you get up to the high, right? And then, whoa, bang, you run the high intraday, and then it gives it up. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow's up 250. Nasdaq's up 36. S&P's are up 19. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Down Dash is up uh, 248. You get the Nasdaq up 42. S&Ps are up 20. You got uh, gold. Gold's up 620 out here. We, let's go take a look at the oil market. C-L-A. There we go. So you have a... You're up a buck eighty-eight. You get two hundred ninety-one thousand contracts traded. Yep, you're going for the top of this range here. This is gonna this is gonna get interesting because the yeah the XLE is breaking topside. The last spike. Let's see this. What's that? Seventy-four sixty-five. You know this ain't bad. If you, if the if the oil market can get one more goose. Um, you know, you get, you get a small contraction of volume today, but if it, the further it gets away from 74, 65, that would be, you know, bottom line. With, you know, if it get away from it, then it would say, okay, you might make this 82, which would be pretty wild. On the downside, we got into 67. That was only two weeks ago. So I can see that you're almost gone. You've gone up nine dollars in uh, what is this? Oh, this is interesting. Nine dollars in nine trading days. <laughs> So we'll see, because the last time that we did make it up there, it gave it up in spades. It went from 77 to 71 in a heartbeat. We go take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at the Dow Industrials. The strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. And number-wise here, you have uh, sales, Salesforce putting 50 positive points, Boeing 33, 3M 29, Caterpillar 26. Taken away from it. Merck minus 10, Amgen minus 9, Johnson & Johnson minus 8. Nothing else. Uh, the rest of them are pretty small out there. We go to the IWM. Let's take a look at the IWM. Now, the IWM, bottom line, it always seems to come up the rear. And, you know, once it starts moving, though, you really get some action going. And so you can see in the last three days, the IWM just went from the 180 to 189 level. Today, what's happening is that we're taking out the swing high of 189.24. Now, you get a huge contraction of volume. You want to see this, man. This is this is one that doesn't work, but the bottom line is that these are the types of spikes that I'm talking about. So picture this. Your last high up here was 37 million shares. We're taking this out today with 21. Okay, price is holding though. I expect price is gonna hold too. We put this on a weekly. The reason I expect price is gonna hold is that the S&P wants to finish off what it's doing. That's That's my take on it. So you can see, see this right here? Yeah, this, this, small, this small cap's going nowhere, okay? Every week, now look at this. Five weeks ago, five, three, six weeks ago. Six weeks ago, we did 223 million. Five weeks ago, 186. Four weeks ago, 141. Three weeks ago, 145. Last week, 106. This week, we all, we, right now, you're at 50. So your benchmark is 233. This is, this is warning signs, folks. That's how this whole thing's setting up right now. And I suspect the small caps are not going to make it because they're actually going into 174 million. Let me put this on a daily now. So they're taking out. 
With 21 million, they're taking out 60 million. Yeah. You know. This is this is going to be this is an amazing trading market, but it's going to get even better. That's how this is setting up. Let's go to uh, the silver market for a second. So silver. You don't have any movement out here today on silver. You're down three cents. That's nothing. It's a sideways move. Yeah, not enough. Thirty-three thousand. So see, if when I'm when I'm looking at this right now, this is how this, I think this thing's going to shake out. When silver doesn't have any juice today, gold has a little juice, right? The market is getting tired as it's coming up to the highs. The volume is contracting. You know where I'm going to go, right? Oh, look at that pop. <laughs> look at that. Oh, my. Let me see this for a second. This is, these, these are the spikes. The, the S&P just spiked five points, like in a heartbeat. Look at this. <laughs> Unreal. And you get volume behind the move. What time is it? Let's see. That's seven, that's seven minutes out of a 10-minute bar. It's going to blow away the swing high. So it just blew it away. Now let me pull this. Okay, so you have, you're getting closer and closer. So we're at 442.32, 444.30 is the number. Okay, so now let me go back to the thought that we, we were just talking about, that you have the S&Ps, Dow, NASDAQ, all getting up to those highs. We talked about the spike high. And gold and silver still having a hard time getting the traction, right? Well, now let's go over to the dollar because the way this is set up is it hasn't been able to hold price at all, right? It's coming into the lows, okay? So it doesn't necessarily have to get to the lows. I suspect what we're going to see here as we get to the highs, right, this dollar will get a little bounce going. If it gets the bounce going, the bottom line, the market can't stand the dollar going higher. That's where, you know, bottom line can start getting the pullback and we'll see how this baby shakes out. And if very well, just maybe a small, basically, bounce. Let me put this on a weekly. Because you can see, we've been in this range. Sorry about that, folks. We've been in this range for quite some time, man. Take a look at this. You know, it's, there's some nice channels that are set up. We've been in this range since December of 20 of 2020 oh, no 2022 so we've been in it quite some time but that's how i suspect this thing's going to shake out that's that's what it looks like the you know and the nq's nq same setup the nq's just took out its swing point took it out with volume now it's not an abc up because what happened folks is that the we did too much of a deeper retracement out here today, but you can see the expansion of volume. Uh, we're at, uh, that's nine minutes into it. You're doing 13,000 contracts, and you're taking out the, oh, well, they're taking out 15,000, but it's gonna need more contract volume to basically stick. But at, uh, you know, 3.50 p.m., when we get a four, four o'clock close, these markets are gonna stick. And this is just how highs are actually made, meaning that, you run them, you run them, and you run them again. That's, that's how it works. And you run them right into the close. And that's, you know, because that gets everyone bullish in a monster way. And, you know, they're already leaning that way. That's the bottom line. You can see this. We're actually taking out, uh, let's see what this is, 4476. Yeah, we're taking out the highs even from, um, the, from Friday. You're taking out the highs from Friday. This is in the futures now. And, yeah, this is going to be cool, man. So the future, 4498, that's nothing. That's only 20 points from where we are right now. So we'll see how that shakes out tomorrow morning. But uh, that's, that's how this baby's set up right now. And it's probably because too many people are on the wrong side of the trade right now. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 332, Nasdaq's up 82, S&P's up 31. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow is up 317, NASDAQ's up 72, S&P's up 29. Let me show you something here, folks, okay? We're getting closer to, uh, you know, basically getting that high, and we'll see whether it can hold. But... When that, we just had that spike, okay, this is another warning that bottom line, we're coming into a high. We just had that spike. See this right here? We had two tick readings of plus 14, one was 1444, one was 1453. What that specifically is, that's, you know, bottom line, people have to have stops in. Bottom line, that is saying a monster amount of stops were in and they had a buy. That's what that is. That's everyone buying at the same time, by the way. That's how that works, okay? So that there's another indication that we're getting there. And, you know, I happen to be just saying right before that about the aspect of spike highs, okay? Um, spike highs, uh, once you get used to them, you're going to love them. That's the bottom line. It's, when you're on the other side of them, yeah, it's a drag. There's no two ways about that. But as you get close to highs, if it's a real high, meaning and you're going to get a decent pullback, most of the time, there's spike highs. That's, that's just how the, the baby sets up. Percentage-wise out here today, we're going to have, let's see. So you got the Dow up nine-tenths of a percent. You get the NASDAQ up a half a percent. And you get the S&Ps up uh, four-tenths of one percent. You know? And we go overseas. You can see this. I've mentioned many times about the DAX. If you saw the DAX, the DAX is up three-quarters of a percent this morning. So the bottom line is that, you know, the market prior to the open, prior to 930, those S&Ps were up about 10. They gave it back. 
you, you know, keep your eye on the DAX, folks, okay, especially if you day trade, okay? It's a, you know, money moves around, you know, the world in two seconds these days, okay? And the correlation is pretty tight inside the DAX and inside our own markets each and every day. And they're basically, well, they're, they're three or four hours ahead of us, which is pretty cool. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Join Tommy tomorrow morning. CPI is coming out in the morning. That is going to move markets, and it's just possible that someone knows that CPI is going to be a light CPI because uh, the bottom line, well, look, hey, when I do the update, I'll give you those volumes because right now we're still light volume. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.